he, he knows. Oh, I know how to get up there. Hey, yeah, that was saving me, fucking little nice. bitch. Uh, yeah, you, oh, I forgot to tell you, the rocks at a certain angle when you throw knives. I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> in certain spots. <laughs> My bad. Did I forget to mention that, sir? I'm oh, so sorry. Yeah, you have to be a little ways away. Y'all really ain't man, going? Living. Oh, y'all. Ten. Oh, man. Nine. Eight. All right, I'll come. Here, I'm down. Yep. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, by the way, game. back. Up yours, dude. Up yours. <laughs> Again. Oh, fuck. I, I, <laughs> I, I, Hey guys, welcome to another tips and tricks video. And as you can tell, my voice is a lot better because it's not all scratchy and all that. Uh, I got a new mic, so hopefully from here on out we'll have some better audio. Anyway, this is going to be another video dealing with the counselor glitches and when you're Jason, how to get them. As you saw in the previous video, it's a pain in the butt when somebody's up there messing with you. And that was our me messing with our friend. And he does know how to get up there, guys. Don't worry, he's well versed but max pretty good players jason also so anyway what i want to show you is about four other glitches also dealing with the tommy house i mean the uh, jarps map so let's get started with this i know y'all waiting to see this for a while okay number one first glitch we're going to deal with the packer neck has a there is a rock glitch on there and this is on your big map small map has one too they're both in the general same area so load in what you don't want to do is go up here around woodbury camp and i teleported in the wrong way uh part sorry guys i should have teleported a little more to the left but you can run over here you'll see come apart this big rock here to the left and a lot of counselors get up there play around messing with you and what you do is jason run around here to the front and you can't get up this way can't get up this way over to the left dude left there you go. All right. And you keep going around. When you get right here, push in a little bit. And you'll just keep going up. And right there, you're on top of this rock. So that's the big rock glitch at the Packerneck Lodge, the first one. Number two, we're going to go to Packerneck Small Rock Glitch. Okay. Second one here, you'll see on the right, Mac is just squatting. And he will actually squat right up there, see? That's how you can get up there as a counselor. Now, another way, and I'm going to do this with Jason, but you can do this with a counselor too, is you just run up right here, whoop, just hang it right real quick, right there at that rock, come right on up. Easy peasy. Okay, number three. Third one, we're going to look at the Jarvis window glitch. This is actually a pretty cool glitch if you're a counselor, but if you're Jason, you're going to be a nightmare. But if you walk up somebody and they're just standing there, you grab them, and Mac and D Master are going to demonstrate. You grab them, they got a pocket knife. Guess what? Pops them right outside the window up top. See, D Master's out here. Jason's in there. Can't swing at him, can't knife him through the window. That's pretty cool, but sucks if you're Jason. And see right here, he can run all the way around here. He's got to be careful because right there in front of him, walks too far, he'll fall right off. Uh, here's a different angle. Mac's walking out. You can hit him with a knife, but if the counselor's smart, he's just going to duck. And then you can never hit him. But can't get him on any of the sides. He's up there on top, just going da 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 da. Can't get me. Na 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 da boo boo. So you see? And the way the counselor gets off is he has to walk. There's a little open spot. See here? D is going to do a little dance here in a minute. Falls right down. All right, so how do you deal with this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. When you see somebody standing there, just start hitting them. Do not grab them. If they're standing there, it's basically that old saying, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. So just hack him. Okay, the last one, the Jarvis front porch glitch. And this thing has been here since the map came out. Counselor gets in there. You're trying to hit them. As you see here, you can't hit him. Can't hit him. But guess what? Here in a second, you're going to see something. Counselor will hit me. Boom. Which, that sucks. Okay. So, and if you try to grab them, no, nah, you won't get him. You can't even grab them. So how you deal with this? Okay. All 
All right, how to, now here's how you do the glitch. All right, you see this little cooler? You're going to walk up to it, squat down right as you're pushing towards it, and you just keep going up, go over chairs, go in the back, come back here, float all the way to the edge. You got to be careful because you will actually get stuck there if you don't know what you're doing, and if you don't know how to get out, you are stuck. So be careful. And I'm not a big fan of this glitch. It's great one time, but it's boring. So how do you kill the counselor there? Okay, now, now normal way, just keep throwing knives. The only problem with this, guys, if the counselor has thick skin and double med perk and or either one, you're going to run out of knives before they run out of that. Yeah, see that? If you're watching this video here, turn the corner, keep watching, I'll hit them. And you see, I'm swinging. Finally, got him right there. There is a sweet spot, guys. And it, there was an easier way, I'll tell you. But sorry, this takes patience, but it can be done. And we'll keep going. This took me a few hits. And keep watching. I'll get him. Bam, dead. Works great with a machete. Um, the uh, pig splitters, I call it. It works pretty good. But let me show you how I do this. See that black spot? I try to line my right shoulder on. I'm looking towards the shopping cart when I do this. And it swings right in there. And do not go in combat stance. It does not work. It'll shoot you into the house. But it's a little sweet spot. It's going to take you a lot of tries, guys. You'll hit like one out of eight try one swings. But you will hit him. Okay. Just keep patience, you'll get it. Now, right here we got the axe. And as you see here, the axe is kind of a pain in the butt. So that's what, go inside. And do not, and see here, here I'm at a combat stance. It doesn't work good, but watch this. I'm going combat stance. Okay. Bam, hit him. Now the sweet spot, if you look right there, I use that wall crease facing that way. Make sure I'm in combat stance. And you want to swing over uh, the heavy swing, not the light swing, the heavy one. And it'll come down on. And usually, make sure the counselor's near the corner. Like, say you hit them outside, they run over to the corner, go inside, do it this way. And if they run the edge, go back outside, do it the other way. Just keep doing this. And what I'm going to do here, I'm using the sensor so I can see this counselor. They think they got me, but watch. Get the spot right. Damn, I hit him again. And I'll keep doing it. Like I said, this takes a few tries, okay. guys. So there, now they're That's lamping. it, right there. Okay. That's a sweet. Now, when you get to this point when they're lamping, you can keep doing it this way. My advice, go out here, finish them off with a knife. Usually about two knives when they're lamping, that's the end of them. And what I would do when you're messing with somebody like this that wants to stay in there, save them to last. Don't even mess with them. Go kill all the other counselors. If they escape, great, whatever. Leave that person there. Uh, more than likely, they probably got stuck. They don't know how to get her. Don't worry about them. But before you engage them, have at least four knives. I'd say five, but four. The reason why is this. If you hit them, they start limping, and you go out there hit them with a knife, and all of a sudden they spray up all of a sudden, and you only had two, well, they were messing with you. So have about four. And that way, next time they're limping, Right when they're limping, hit them, couple, hit them again. Just keep hitting them until they die that way. Then we'll spray up. Keep doing it. They'll run out eventually. Okay, guys. Uh, dealing with the last one. I know that's a big issue, that Jarvis map. I pain in the butt. Um, when I, the spear is not worth a flip trying to get some in there. I have hit them with the Savini spear. And sometimes it hit and miss with it. But best one I found for that really was the machete. Big splitter hit them. Uh, as you saw there, the fire axe hit them. But that's more on the inside with the fire axe. But the machete is what I found to be the best. And be patient with this. That's really the only fix. If I can find a better one, I'll be more than happy to throw it up here as quickly as possible. But 
just be patient. It's, you're going to take one out of ten strength, uh, swings, one out of eight, whatever. It's going to take a while to hit them. But it sure is gratifying when somebody does that and you get them at the end. It makes my day. And like I said, have four or five knives. Hit them to their limping just in case they got a health spray and they're playing. And that way, you know, they don't fool you and you get them. Okay, guys. Uh, hope that helped you out some. Uh, you got any questions, uh, comments? Uh, if you got any little, your own little advice, hey, put it down there below there. Yeah, we're all trying to help each other out here. All right. Uh, I do have better audio now, thank God. And, guys, I will see you on the next Tips and Tricks video. Hope this helped you out. Thank you.